after the cyclone Andre Lino's house is still barely habitable. The family have moved all their possessions into the only undamaged room. That's also where they now sleep. Lino will never forget the day the storm hit. I was just there, I didn't go anyway, because that was so violent I couldn't come out. Suddenly I heard the roof going out. That was very, very violent and dangerous, yes. Lino's house is just a few hundred meters from the shore. The sea is the most immediate danger. Beira is often flooded. Parts of the city are below sea level. The districts of Ponta Angea and Praia Nova are especially at risk. UN climate change experts estimate that sea levels could rise by a meter by the year 2100. The city has taken defensive action with a network of locks and canals in parts of Beira. The measures have cost millions, subsidized by development funds from Germany. On the day of the cyclone, it also started raining. We opened the locks so the water could run down into the sea. If we hadn't done that, the flooding would have been even a lot worse. Mayor Davish Simango says the city is used to flooding. But destructive storms like Cyclone Idai are a new phenomenon. Simango is hoping for more funding from overseas to pay for defensive measures. Once they have been in flooding, once they've been in heavy wind, that's what we have seen now, definitely they will feel in their skin that something bad is happening, and that's called climate change. In the meantime, Andre Lino still worries about the future, about his house and his family. We don't have a possibility to go any other place. So we are here, but very afraid, so we are afraid. If he could afford it, Lino says, he would have moved long time ago, away from the water's edge.